be clear. I don't want lipstick on my teeth for this rant. Okay, let's get sassy. <clears throat> Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rianne and today I'm going to be having a little internet rant about why, no, you were not born in the wrong era. So, something that I see very commonly um, across the internet is people lamenting with wistful sighs that they were born in the wrong era while they look at pictures of usually the 1950s and it's always kind of bugged me but I just thought I would you know I just usually gloss over it but recently I saw a really good um, picture on Instagram by one of my favorite youtubers Rachel Maxey I will insert the picture here where she is standing on the grounds of a plantation in New Orleans New Orleans New Orleans um, and the caption I found really interesting she basically says that she doesn't want to over romanticize the um, history of plantations obviously they were used for slave labor um, and that the thing about being interested in history and the past is that you have to take the bad along with the good and that you can't sugarcoat things too much and I thought that was a really good and really interesting point and it got me thinking about when people say you know oh I was born in the wrong era I wish I'd been born in the past no you really really don't modern values and ideals do not mix with the values and ideals of the past. Obviously, in some people's heads, it is still the 1940s or the 1950s. I actually encountered a very, very kind um, woman who was going on 90, which was amazing, um, in a cafe a couple of weeks ago who was complimenting the way that I dressed and happened to mention that things were better in the old days I restrained myself so much from, obviously I didn't want to just go off on this poor random woman that I didn't really know very well and there was no point because I was never going to change her mind. But that's why I have a YouTube channel because I can talk about whatever the heck I like on here. I feel like it's silly that we do have to bring this up, but obviously the past kind of sucked. Obviously every era, even today's era, still has its inequities um, and its problems and there are still people who are oppressed and discriminated against um, based on silly things like the colour of their skin, the people that they choose to love and their disability status. But it was so much worse in the past. Obviously everyone likes to bring up the fact that older generations tend to say oh we didn't have things like ADHD or autism or mental illness in my day and the truth is that of course those things existed the people who suffered or dealt with them just never received proper treatment or diagnosis and were often treated appallingly and sent to asylums or sent away to doctors who experimented on them and mistreated them horribly so if you have any kind of mental health problem you do not want to live in the past you would receive no support you would receive no medication you would have no understanding at all to make this a little bit interesting i wanted to look up some facts about the past so if you are in any way associated or allied with the LGBTQ plus community, which I would think would be everyone, hopefully, <laughs> um, you may be interested to know that in the United Kingdom, the decriminalization of homosexual acts between two men over 21 was not until the Sexual Offences Act in 1967. In Scotland it was even later, um, it was in 1981, and the age of consent for homosexual and heterosexual couples was not equalised at 16 in Scotland until 2000. 
2000. That's only 19 years ago. The fact that 2000 was 19 years ago kind of makes me want to throw up a bit, but, you know, it's ridiculous. If you were saying that you want to live in the past, why? People were not free to love who they wanted to love. Um, why should you have to conduct your love affair in secret just because people couldn't handle it at the time? And of course it's the same thing where everyone knew who was gay, they just didn't talk about it and there was no sexual health, like, services or aid at all. I found this really interesting. So, formal training of doctors and nurses in contraceptive techniques was not introduced in the UK until 1969. There was some formal training in designated training clinics in 1946, but family planning provision services was not included in the National Health Services Act that started the NHS. So, you know, if you are not too big on just having kids constantly, then you should be glad that you live in the modern era where women can safely get oral contraceptives whenever they like, although can't get sterilized because we don't know what we're doing. Anyway, see, there are still inequities. It was so much worse back in the day. Um, the FPA did not approve oral contraceptives in their clinics until 1961. 1961. And the single women were not allowed to be prescribed the pill until 1974. Because it might encourage sexual freedom? Interestingly, lesbianism never been outlawed in United Kingdom law as far as I can find. Only homosexuality only ever refers to acts between men. Lesbianism, lesbianism doesn't exist, apparently, according to law. Women, women just can't get by without men. <laughs> But these sorts of things show just how far we have come and how recently it's been since we have come there. If you are a woman who owns a business, who goes to work, who enjoys sexual freedom and the power to date whoever they want, if you are a woman who does not want children, if you are a woman who has ever had an abortion or who feels that that would be something that she would do if you suddenly got pregnant, you do not want to live in the past. Women were second class citizens. In some parts of UK and America and many, many parts of the world, they still are. But my God, we've come a long way, kind of, since, <laughs> since, you know, the turn of the 19th of the 20th century even, turn of the 1900s. Usually when people say that they want to live in the past, they are referring to, oh, I wish that I could live in a world where fluffy poodle skirts were the fashion and Elvis was still alive and, you know, all of the music was still there. You know what the great thing about the internet is? Is that you can go online and you can go on Etsy or a reproduction clothing site and you can buy a fluffy poodle skirt and a petticoat and then you can listen to Elvis. It's great. We have it all. We have it all only without the horrible racism. Haven't touched on that yet. The past. Massively racist. Some parts of the present. Massively racist. You know, I, I always think that it takes it does take a special kind of privilege to wish that you lived in the past because you're saying that it's okay for so many people to be suffering and oppressed and not able to live freely just because you like the certain aesthetic. You know, we do still, ha as the um, meme says, we still have milkshakes and racism. Um, we don't need to time travel to find it. And I always find it odd when people say that 
they wish that everyone dressed still in the vintage style because I think the best thing about the modern era is that we have the choice. You know, it's sort of... I think sometimes it can display a lack of confidence. You're saying that you wish everyone dressed in the vintage style so you didn't look out of place. But if you really love it and it's something that makes you happy, then just do it. Don't care whether other people dress the same way and you will find people that dress the same way whether they're online or in real life you will sort of gravitate towards one another and you will find people that you can connect with you don't have to wish for a bygone era for that to happen and we have to remember that the past is so heavily romanticized especially now um due to certain horrific disgusting people who shall not be named but should not be in charge of a country um and this the 50s especially and the 40s can be seen as this golden era and i think it's important that we remember how many of the problematic parts were glossed over and uh, willfully ignored you know if you lived in the 1940s you have to deal with the Second World War, with rationing, with bombing, with people dying. Um, if you lived in the 1950s, if you were a woman or a person of colour or any kind of not straight, you were miserable. If you had mental health problems, you were miserable. It's just... I think we need to learn to appreciate just how much choice we have now and obviously we still have miles and miles and miles to go. We still have so many problems with equality and with equal opportunity and with sexism, with racism, with homophobia, with transphobia, with all of these things, with stigmatization of mental illness and disability. There is still so far that we have to go, but when we look at, when people say, oh, I wish that I lived in the past, they are erasing all of that. They're saying that I'm okay with erasing all of this progress if I get to have a pretty dress or wear a sharp suit every day. You can wear whatever the heck you want, which always seems to be the standby thing that I come back to in my videos. You can wear whatever the heck you want. You can wear whatever you want, but you can wear it now where women can get contraception and people of colour are seen somewhat more equally. You know, gay people aren't chemically castrated. All fun things. Yay! So I hope that this video explained my point of view adequately enough. I know it's a bit, some people might say that it's a bit of a silly thing to get hung up on, but I really do think that the notion of um, I was born in the wrong era is kind of problematic because, you know, the past was not great. It wasn't a great time. So I'm not saying that, you know, everyone was miserable all the time. Everyone, you know, people will always find ways to be happy with what they have. But the systematic oppression of so many people, which happened in the past and in some ways is still happening now but to a lesser extent, shouldn't be ignored and shouldn't be glossed over because it doesn't fit the kind of societal rose-tinted vision of what we like to think now that they had then, if that makes sense. So. I really hope that this video is still enjoyable to watch. I hope that you enjoyed my little factoids. I will leave them all in the description box as well so that the next time anyone says, oh, I wish I lived in the past, you can be like, really, do you like contraception? Because no, you don't. Don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media. You can follow me on Twitter at VVintageDarling. You can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling and you can subscribe to my channel for more videos. I do not typically do these kinds of videos. Um, I generally do vintage style, brush outs, lookbooks, all those kinds of things. 
but I felt like I wanted to do something with a little bit more substance today, so I hope that it was enjoyable. I love you all very much, I hope you are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir! I can't tell whether this is, is political or not. Maybe I'll lose subscribers. Who cares? Yeah. You know, if you lose subscribers because you're talking about how the past wasn't all hunky-dory and roses and daisies, then... You know, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs>